Hi, Hunter. You're going to be working with Mrs. Zamzo on your writing goal. Can you tell me what happened before you meet with her today? Like, what happened last time you guys met? Um, that we would set a goal for my closure. How did you do that? How did you come up with that goal? Um, because I um, didn't, in my last one, my last uh, personal narrative, um, I didn't, um, didn't do as very good as closure as I did in my next one. Okay. And then how did you remember to work on closure for your next writing? Uh, I had a post-it that said I learned and then I'd write the rest. So that post-it stayed with you mm -hmm. on, like in your writing folder or something yep. like that? Okay, awesome. So now what we're going to be looking at a piece of paper, a piece of writing to see if you remembered to include closure. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. All right, Hunter, could, would you mind reading your story first? Mm -hmm. Out loud. I was getting ready to go to by Big Hills at 12.30 p.m., and then I set off, running as fast as I could. When I got there looking for the biggest hill, I wasn't looking where I was going, and I tripped over a rock. Feel like you did that, told the story in the right order? I agree, for sure. Um, did I use details to describe the people, events, and setting? Um, I did. I think I did. Can you show me a spot where you had some good details? Um... I face plant. Okay, yeah. So you you I used some really good verbs in this in this um, story. Excellent. Is there another spot where you had some good details mm. that would really help me see it? Like maybe colors or sizes of things, or like what the setting looked like. Mm. Looking for like the biggest hill I know because there'd be like a whole bunch of hills and you'd be looking for okay. the biggest one. So there are lots of hills there to choose from and you were looking for the biggest hill. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, did I use temporal words? Did you use temporal words? Mm -hmm. Can you show me a couple places? Like, like next and. Yep. Um, I see you finally. Then, yeah. Good. Finally. There's a, there's some, I th think there's a next somewhere. And you had some nice um, times, and the times that you used made sense. So first it was 12.30, and then it was 2.45, 245. and mm -hmm. then, um, does 8.30. This? It was the next day. The next the day, so, yep, so I see the time there with the temporal words. How about the closure? What do you think about that? Uh, not, don't ride it without permission. Did you have that in your, you had it here on your post-it. I learned don't ride without permission, which makes sense. Did you have that in your story? Mm -hmm. You didn't, so you kind of forgot to write that, but um, I like your conclusion, though. It isn't a lesson learned, which was kind of what you picked that you wanted to do, but after two months, I was back on the skateboard. Um so maybe you just forgot to put this part right yeah. onto this paper, right? Because, like, it shows it. I'm back on the skateboard and the Right. So your storyboard. Yes, your storyboard matches your story, doesn't it? Mm hmm Okay. Um, how about, do my sentences begin with a capital letter? Uh, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of them. Yep, I think so, too. And how about punctuation at the ends of your sentences? Um... Punctuation, I think I mm -hmm. did pretty good. Yep, you did. I see period here, period here, here. So nice job on that. And how about the high frequency word spelled correctly? Uh, I think I did like and my uh, big, I think I did pretty good on yeah, that. Yeah, even some tricky ones like down you had exactly right and crack, couldn't. You even got the apostrophe, so nice job on the spelling. Um, I'm thinking maybe for your next goal, maybe you can get some more details into okay. your story. Because um, I'm thinking about, like, um, let's see. I set off running as fast as I could when I got there. And so maybe you could just kind of give us a picture, like, to, um, like, the edge of town where there were lots of trees mm -hmm. or at the park or yeah. some things like that. And then maybe if there was anybody else with you, I don't know, maybe you were all alone. Um, but there's just some more things like that. And the doctor told me it was broken. 
So maybe you could tell something about the doctor. Maybe um, he's wearing like a white perfect coat. Yes, the doctor wearing a white coat. That would be a great detail. Um, and maybe describing the skateboard a little bit, like what it looks like. Okay. Okay. So we'll make that for your next goal then. Okay. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so that's it. You're done. Nice job. I always love your stories. You are a very good writer. Do you like to write? Yeah. Yeah. Do you write ever at home when you're all by yourself or not? Oh, uh, yeah. I have a special notebook. Do you do? Okay. I write about stuff that happens. Mm, kind of like a journal? Mm -hmm. The things that happen to you? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, no wonder you had so many good ideas for your personal narrative. That's mm -hmm. a great thing to have. Does anyone ever read that, or is it just private for you? Sometimes my sister will find it. Ah, those sisters. All right, well, thank you, Kevin.